And while we're preparing for more of that, some families are still recovering from the first round of storms. Take a look. This house in Worthington heavily damaged. And as the family tells 10 TV's Kevin Landers, that may have started with a lightning strike. Kevin. Good evening. A typical lightning flash generates between 10 and 100 million volts of electricity. Now, the Worthington Fire Department won't confirm that the damage to this Worthington home came from a lightning strike, but the homeowner said a neighbor told him lightning hit the house. I mean, you said it was a lightning strike. You feel pretty confident it was a lightning strike. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was bang and then that funny buzzing sound, which made me think it had hit something electrical. This is where Greg Dunn believes lightning struck his house just after midnight Tuesday. The lightning hit the, uh, the vent for the stove, which goes up there, and that's where the fire started. This is the vent he believes took the first hit. It's a twisted piece of metal now. The fire, he suspects, traveled into the roof and spread into the kitchen. The flames were coming right out of the vent, shooting out of the vent. We never saw any, any flames in the house. Dunn said his daughter and her infant were staying with him at the time. Her baby was in that bad room. Which is just inches from where the suspected lightning strike slammed into his house. It was an exciting night. <laughs> Dunn said he did all he could to keep the fire from spreading. Yeah. Got the garden hose out and fought the fire myself for a while till, uh, till the fire department came. He says he's lived in this Worthington neighborhood since the 1980s. He says he's fortunate he was home when the fire started. If not, he fears oh, the house would have burnt down. Yeah. And of course, the electricity when the elect, when the lightning bolt hit the house, it knocked out the electricity of the home, which is why the generator is running right now. Dunn says he's very fortunate that the fire department arrived here so quickly that prevented the fire from spreading any further. Worthington Fire tells us it hopes to have an official cause in a couple of days. Reporting live in Worthington, Kevin Landers, 10TV News. All right, unfortunate, no one was hurt. Thank you, Kevin.